Hey there everybody, this is Ira and oh my goodness, my friends, oh my goodness. I I found I found a real good one. <laughs> I found a real good one, everyone. Um maybe may too good. <gasps> oh my goodness, this one might be too good. Uh this is Forager. There's a title right there. This is um an indie game, shockingly. I am covering an indie game today. This is an adorable, wholesome, highly addictive, little, fairly casual, but surprisingly it has surprising depths this game um everything about it is just lovely uh, when you start up the game there's a little message from the developer saying hey i really i worked really hard on this i hope you like it as much as me there's a little featured fan art thing right here and as you play the game and and get little achievements you unlock some extras and i'm not going to show you all of them obviously I, don't, I haven't unlocked all of them uh, i'm not going to show you all the ones that even i've unlocked but uh there's this cute little little comic thing about like how the developer, you know, had had some tough times and like dropped out of school and decided to become a developer and their family supported them really, really strongly and like things didn't always go well and then suddenly the game was successful and it's just like the sweetest, loveliest story and it's just the most wholesome thing um, and I love it. <laughs> I love it. There's a comic here as well um, and there's, there's more stuff. I... I'm gonna unlock everything. I guarantee you I'm gonna unlock everything. You even have merchandise already, which apparently some people were like, you shouldn't have merchandise for a game that isn't even out yet. There's tons of games that do that. Look at Ooblets. This game is at least as cute as Ooblets. I said it. Yeah, you heard me. Oh no, I'm gonna get angry comments now. Um, but I think it's lovely that, that there's, you know, t-shirts and stuff like that. You guys know, you know if you're worried that, that this is like selling out or something, uh, you make, you, you can't really make money on merchandise these days. It's, it, the, the profit margin is so tiny. You usually don't really make any money. This is just because like the developer thought it would be real cool to have t-shirts with these adorable characters on them. And you know what? They were right. It is adorable. And I think that's just lovely. So I've been playing for quite a while already. This game... Uh, there's, there's a free demo on Itch. As far as I know, that's not going to be taken down when the game is fully released officially on Steam, which is happening, um, should be tomorrow from when I put up this video. So, uh, Thursday, April 18th, 2019. In case you're watching this far in the future, don't worry, the game's out. Um, but you can play the demo now. I played, I played the demo when I, when I first became aware of it and I got hooked already. And then I found out that it's coming out on Steam and I was like... Could I maybe take a look and do a little review, a first look at the game? And the developer was like, yeah, sure, here you go, because they're obviously an incredibly friendly person. Um, so this is my save file. You can see, now here's the thing, here's why I said it might be too fun or too good. Um, I was like, I'll just load it up and play for a few minutes. And the, the, you get an achievement, a little achievement thing pops up when you've played for three hours. And that popped up on the screen, it was like, you've played for three hours, and I was like, no. No, I didn't. It, it's maybe one hour. No, um, I've now played for almost four and a half hours. I did not mean to do that. So be aware, my friends. This is one of those games where you're like, I'll just play for a few more minutes. And before you know it, many hours of your life are gone. <laughs> this is this is a serious problem. Uh, be prepared. Prepare yourself before you play. Make sure you're strict with yourself about time limits. I am going to start a new game to start with so that we don't spoiler things for those who don't want to be spoilered. The, the game begins and you're on this little island. And this little island is a little bit of tutorial, escape to open menu. By the way, there are gamepad controls. I tried them, I didn't really like them very much. So I am using mouse and keyboard, but there are gamepad controls if you want to try those. So that's an option, which is cool. Um, oh, and you know what? I haven't looked at the options yet. So here's the options. You can change language. What languages do we have? Spanish, Portuguese, German, which has got its own font, interesting. Um, an Asian language, I, maybe Chinese? One of these is probably Chinese, one is Japanese, that's Korean. That's, uh, uh, Russian. Um, that is... Ooh, not fully translated. Um, I recognize the alphabet, sort of, but I don't want to say what language it is because I'm not sure. This looks like Turkish, French, and back to English. Quite a lot of options available. Cool. Um, I'm playing in full screen. It's windowed by default, but you can put it in full screen, desync, sound, blah, 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 blah. And I do believe that there are more options going to be added for like things like screen shake and stuff. Um, but I haven't, I haven't had any need for any accessibility options so far, and I usually do. So, okay, we're gonna get started by building a furnace. So here you are. This is you. This is me. This is I'm adorable. Look how cute I am. To start with, you're just on this little tiny island, and these natural resources are just kind of popping up. 
And so you just, uh, you click and hold with the mouse. Uh, I think it's the A button on the gamepad. You'll figure it out if you're using the gamepad. I'm just gonna talk about the mouse keyboard controls since that's what I'm using. And you swing your little pickaxe, and you break these things. And you gather resources. And uh, this is, this is the main part of the game. And you might think, well, that's gonna get old quickly. Nope. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh no, everyone. Oh no, it does not get old. It doesn't get old at all. You just like... It's one of those very Moorish games where you're like, I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna do one more. Oh wait, that one just popped up over there. Okay, well, I'll just do that one real quick. Now don't worry, the speed with which you harvest the resources does increase with time. So there, there are upgrades and skills and things. I'm gonna play uh, basically until I get to the point where I can unlock another section of the island and I'll do that. And then I am going to switch to my kind of more more advanced game. The one where I've played for four and a half hours. That's not even close to all the content, by the way. I've still just kind of scratched the surface. There is lots of content in this game. Do not worry about, about running out of content quickly. It's not going to happen. Oh, look at some berries. Now you'll notice in the top left, you get three hearts and you get this green bar and that's your hunger. So every once in a while, you just click on these to eat them. You got to eat. And I think your hunger depletes when you are swinging your pickaxe. So my goal right now is I need to get enough stone to build a furnace. I probably might have enough already. I'm just, this is what happens. You just kind of automatically just start harvesting everything. And more is always just popping up. Okay, so I'm gonna hit escape, open the menu. We're gonna, you can either hit Q and E or you can just click at the top. Here's the things you can build. We're gonna go into industrial and we're gonna build a furnace and we've got plenty of stone to build a furnace. Now later, if you wanna move these buildings, you are able to do that. There we go, I built a furnace, I did it, yay! So now you go up to it, you press E, and these are the things you can make, okay? You need to make coal first. So to do that, you, uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. here we go. Uh, so you can go left and right like this, or you can press control. This, you, this usually shows up on the screen, maybe it will show up later. Um, and that will craft max, or you can right click and that will craft half. So I'm gonna control, just craft all of them. Let that go. As far as I can tell, items do not despawn. So you are perfectly safe just letting stuff run. Eventually, things like automation come up. Oh, I leveled up! Eventually you can automate stuff, have items automatically be collected and things like that. Okay, so hit escape. I'm gonna go into here. Look at all these things you have to unlock. Look at them all. Right now, I'm just gonna go into the skills because every time you level up, you get a skill point, okay? And there's a big kind of skill tree that unlocks slowly. Sorry, I hope I'm not making anyone dizzy moving the mouse a little quick here. So there's industry, uh, unlocks steel, unlocks glass, gain XP when building structures. We've got foraging, cotton, uh, wheat and beets. I hate beets. They look like turnips, I just tell myself they're turnips. Uh, magic lets you find fairies and economy. This one, um, if you're gonna get it, you need to get it at the start. Otherwise, it becomes basically useless. Um, I am gonna get this one. Normally, I skip this one. Uh, and the tree opens up around it. So like, if you get this one and then this one, it'll open up that one. If you get this one and then this one, it'll open up this one. And then you get this one, it opens up this one. So like, you can go around. You don't have to get all of them. Um, until, you know, if, if you just don't plan on using something. Uh, and this one is really not useful. I'm gonna give you a little pro tip. You can skip this one, because before you know it, you're gonna have way more gold than that. But since this little video is designed to show you folks how the game goes, and I wanna show you buying land, I am gonna go ahead. By the way, hold down the button to learn, and I, th I just think this is so great. Uh, knowledge! <laughs> well, not knowledge. I just got myself 40 gold coins. Oh, there's a day-night cycle, by the way. I should buy lands and expand. That's telling me you have enough money to buy another piece of land now, right? Hold on. I have to I have to obsessively get my coal. There we go. Grab some berries. So I'm getting hungry. I have a little snack. Okay. Um, so go into this menu here, buy land. And this zooms out a little bit and it shows you you can buy more spaces. Now, the only one we can afford now, of course, is this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and buy that one. And this is, it is a little bit randomly generated, right? So you're not guaranteed to get the same one in the same place every time. So right now we've got this rainbow one and we've got slimes. So once you, I think it's once you unlock your, your second little plot of land. I'm sorry, this is obsessive. <laughs> slimes will start spawning. Slimes are not super dangerous as long as you, as long as you keep your wits about you and pay attention. 
Basically, if you get to a certain distance, they'll jump at you. They make a big loud noise so you can get out of the way. Um, I don't think touching them hurts you. I'm not sure about that. We've got cotton here. This will be used to make thread and stuff like that. We've got these little uh, lightning bugs, which you can catch in jars. Um, I'm not sure what they're actually used for yet. I haven't, I haven't figured that out, but they are needed for a quest at one point. And I think they're occasionally needed for crafting and things like that. Um, so what this is, is a puzzle. Okay, now unfortunately it's nighttime, so you can't see very well. But, um, okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and build. I should have some wood. I'm going to build I've got a little bit of wood. A couple of bridges here, just so that I can go around like this. Yay! You can build bridges on water anywhere. And by the way, if you build something and then you don't want it there anymore, you can destroy it with your pickaxe with a few a few hits. I'm not going to do that because that would be... Uh, you do get your resources back, by the way. Um, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and solve this one. All right. And this is the only one, the only kind of spoiler thing that'll be in this part of the video is I'm going to solve this puzzle. Look around. You can probably guess what you have to do. There's these little mushrooms on the ground. And the big hint, there's a rainbow in the middle, right? Well, how does a rainbow go? It goes Roy G. Biv, right? Red, orange, yellow. Now, if you're colorblind, this one might be a little tricky. But I think the mushrooms are always in the same place. So if you are colorblind and you're not able to solve this one on your own, I think you'd be able to, um, to get some help with it at the very least. So you'd still be able to progress the game and get your chest. Now, here's a problem. <gasps> oh, no, I need a key. I need a key, you guys. Uh, this is an issue because I don't have a key. And I don't think I can even make a key yet. I need gold to make a key. Now, gold has started spawning. But if I want to open that chest, I need to use that furnace. So let's get some more gold. Let's get all the gold I can find here. And stuff just keeps, it just keeps spawning all around you. All right. Oop. Can't get through the corner. Excuse me, tree. Sorry. Thank you. I should eat. Oh, goodness. I am hungry. I don't know what happens when you run out of food, by the way. So far, that hasn't happened to me. All right. Uh, so I need... Oh, actually... I need a forge first. So I need four iron ingots, four bricks. All right. I'm probably not going to be able to open that. There's four bricks. Uh, I'm probably not going to be able to open that chest if I want to have time to show you my other world. Well, maybe, maybe we'll do that. We'll make that one my one task. While that's going, let's collect some more coal. So once you open that second island, like coal bricks, uh, coal ore starts spawning so that you don't necessarily have to make all your coal out of wood. So coal instead of charcoal, basically. Um, there's some coal there. I see some coal over there. I think those bricks are done. Now I need four iron. Do I have enough coal? I do. Four iron. So this is to make the anvil, and the anvil is used to craft more things, and that's where I can make that key. I think you guys can probably already see how this is going to go. It's this kind of incremental... It has a lot in common. I, I'm, I'm almost ashamed to admit it. It has a lot of in common with, like, an idle game. Except it's more active. Um, and it's adorable. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to level up. It's got another skill point. Um, this one... Forges... No, nah, I don't need that. Uh... Maybe let's do, let's, let's get some fairies. I'm not likely to, to need the fairies. This one is steel and glass. Let's go foraging and you guys can see some of the, the other stuff that pops up. I love it. I love the little animation. Here we go. Okay. Um, build, forge, just stick that right there. Now, to make a key, I need four iron and two gold. We can do this. Can I make two gold already? I can. Let's do that first. That's faster. Um, is there any more charcoal around? There's some over there. Not charcoal. Coal. Oh, hello! Slime. Uh, the slime is used to make that slimy pickaxe, which you might have noticed. Flowers! I'm gonna pick up a flower. Flowers are used in a lot of crafting, actually. Basically, everything that you can harvest, it has a use, and you're gonna- you're gonna probably need it. Iron. Uh, the problem is you have a limited inventory space. Now, you can upgrade your inventory eventually, uh, but right now, this is all I've got. You'll see when I show you my other save file, as long as you don't say, no, 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 don't show me, I don't want any spoilers. Um, but I'll show you what, what one of the bigger backpacks looks like. Grab some berries. I'm, I'm hungry. I need some juicy, juicy berries. There's plenty of other food sources, by the way, which you'll see. Okay, key. Make me a key. This is gonna take a minute. Make a key. 
Then we can go and open that chest. After I chop down this tree. It needs to be done. This It's just so very satisfying. And it, it just gets even more kind of juicier and satis more satisfying uh, as you upgrade it and you start mining faster and it takes fewer hits and stuff. Give me that key. I see it's almost done. Oh, I'm so excited. What's in the chest? Now, I'm not sure if you always get the same items in the same order or if the same uh, maps give you the same items. So let's find out. So now that I have a key, I can press E. Ooh, vampire wings. 30% chance to recover health when killing enemies. So it is randomized then, because I don't have this in my other save. I got wings, look at me, I got wings. <laughs> and there is a beet. I don't like beets, but like I said, it looks like a turnip. So if I tell myself that's a turnip, then I can eat it without gagging. You gotta use these little psychological tricks on yourself. All right, so you get the idea. Uh, this is also where you make coins out of gold ingots. And then eventually you unlock a market where you can sell items for more gold and buy more and more and more stuff. Um, you get the idea. So now I'm going to leave this little map and I'm gonna uh, exit to the main menu. And we are going to jump in to my more advanced game. Now I'm going to say right now, um, one of the loveliest parts of this game is discovering what all the different things are going to be. So if you're already sold and you're sure that you want this game, um, probably watch the rest of the video after you've played for a few hours, because I don't want to spoil any of it for you. Because when you when you see this one, you're going to see a lot of other stuff that, um, that you, you know, you might want to discover on your own. So as much as I want everyone to stay and watch all of my videos right through to the end, and I appreciate all of you folks giving me your attention, um, I do recommend playing at least a few hours before you uh, you watch the rest of this, okay? You, you've been warned. You've been warned. Spoilers incoming. Not major spoilers, but a little bit spoilers. Uh, the game will still be fun even if you watch it, I promise. But I just I just want to be fair to everybody. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Load in the game. Oh, my goodness. So I've got a little floating lantern, which, uh, which follows me around. And at night, it lights up a much bigger area. This is my kind of crafting area. Uh, this is some wheat I don't need. This is a flower press. This is a mill. So this is kind of most of my machines are here. These are my fish traps. Down here I've got a uh, uh, down here I've got a little vault which contains some of the the items. This is my 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 big backpack. Uh, still never big enough. Uh, that's my poop. It's always important to keep some poop with you. There's the market where you can sell things that you don't need anymore. Of course, there's always a use for everything. Down here, um, this is a cow. Actually, I'm going. I'm sorry, cow. I am going to kill you because I, I need more. I need more uh, leather. Um, and then over here, there are these desert areas. They have chili peppers and they have a whole bunch of other stuff, including lots of ores. This lovely lady right here, this princess, is waiting for another royal fabric. I think I need. Yeah, I need more leather first. I don't have enough hide, so I'm killing all the animals, hoping that more cows and other things will spawn that will give me uh, leather. Um, there's a chest right here that I haven't opened yet. I do have the key, but I just haven't done it yet. Uh, these these folks are lovely. When you talk to them, they say, you, you are amazing and we love you. Now, I'm pretty sure I can break these and get beets, but I don't want to, they're adorable. Over here, we had the museum. And this gives you lots of tasks. So you wanna, you know, fill up the museum with all of the things. So you need to find certain numbers of all the stuff here. And then you'll get prizes for completing each of them, and then a big prize for completing all of them. There's the museum curator right there, very nice. Um, I'll show you some mining. Uh, this big tree, by the way, I have to say, this tree is adorable. But I also find it... You stop it. I also find it a little annoying because it's so big, it actually blocks the neighboring islands a little bit. Ooh, cow. Sorry. Ooh, I got a lot of hide. Go ahead, excuse me, I just need to... There we go. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so I would, I would kind of prefer it to be smaller, but on the other hand, it looks really cool, so I don't know. But look how fast I mine now. It's a lot faster. Yeah, much, much better. Uh, this is my cooking pot where I can make all of these delicious meals, although I can't actually make all of them yet. I don't have a lot of the ingredients yet. yet. Uh, my fish traps. Can I make the royal clothing? No, I still need one more leather. Spawn, cows, spawn. Um, over here we've got these graveyard things, and it took me a while to figure this out, but if I break the gravestones, sometimes, usually actually, 
Maybe it's only if I do it at night? Maybe it's only if I do it at night. Uh, the skeletons will appear and I can kill them for bones, which is a crafting ingredient I need. Um, Alright, I want to go... Don't you, don't you jump on me. I'm gonna take my key. And I want to go unlock this chest. I saved this chest so that I could open it together with you fine folks. I'm exhausted. Oh dear. Well, I have more berries than I know what to do with. I've got cactus fruit. I've got, I've got so much food. So much food. Okay. Let me just get in close here. Actually, I think I'm going to have to build some bridges. I can't... Is it because I was standing there? No, it won't let me build there. Odd. Anyway, open! What did I get? <gasps> I got nerdy glasses! <laughs> My XP is increased by 20%. That's pretty good. Oh, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Oh, I also wanted to show you. I almost forgot. There's so many things I want to show you all. Those of you who are not too worried about spoilers. Uh, inside the house is a wardrobe. And check this out. These unlock mainly by um, completing the uh, the um, game kit, the achievements. Uh, this one's my favorite, little sprout head. Oh my goodness, I've got new bodies now. Shovel Knight meat. <laughs> uh, you can change. Th I'm pretty sure this is all cosmetic. Let's let's put on. I like that backpack and fairy wings. I've got fairy wings. No, I'm good. I'm good. I like this little simple, simple little sprout fella. Okay, okay. Oh, it's nighttime. All right, now, maybe now that it's nighttime. There we go. Bones were a crafting ingredient that it took me a while to figure out how to get enough of. You can also get bones by digging in the ground. Oh, there's a boss over there. Okay, so I unlocked this area and I have not been over here yet because it looked scary and also because I thought that could be a fun thing to do together with my friends. So what I am going to do, bravely, I have not died yet in this game. I, I'm assuming that once I place this, they're going to come for me, right? Maybe I should come up here, kind of lure, lure them up this way. How smart are they? Okay, good. They're coming up this way. <laughs> um, See, so yeah, I don't know what happens when you die, but we might be about to find out, my friends. So can we maybe just get a couple of them over here? Okay, doing well so far. Doing well. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <gasps> I killed him! I do need to heal, though. Uh, bread. There we go. Uh, the game does not pause, by the way, when you open your menu like that. Which I kind of wish it would. Okay. Woo! I did it! What's in these chests? <gasps> I got an achievement. Spirit orb. Use it to increase your stats. Nice. What about this one? Another spirit orb. Sweet. And, um, now that I am kind of... Uh, let me let me build like a... a light source here. Um, torches, I suppose. Um, hmm... I'm all worried about aesthetics over here. I probably shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. I want to make it look pretty. Folks know me. I'm all about making things pretty. Okay, I don't know if bad things will spawn here again. Ooh, this is a, a marker for digging, by the way. It means you'll find something if you dig there. Um, let's go into my into my skills then. Oh, it says skill point zero. Do I have to? I'm I'm learning I'm learning along with you, my friends. Consumable. Here we go. Oh, okay. So this doesn't unlock any of the the skills in the skill tree. Health increase, energy increase, damage increase, instantly level up. I think I'm gonna go with the health increase because I only have my three hearts, and I feel like combat, based on what I see on the trailer for the game, I think combat is gonna become more and more important as we go. So I think um, I'm gonna grab a couple of hearts. Couple of hearts. Yeah, give me a couple of hearts. I'll, I'll feel I'll feel better. I still don't know what happens when you die. Maybe we'll never know. Maybe I'll be so good at this game that I will never die. <laughs> It's not, it's not likely. It's not likely, you guys. Oh. 
Okay. Uh. All right. So that's that. Is there anything else that I wanted to make sure to show you, friends? Uh, maybe not. Uh, I, like I said, I really... I don't want to spoil too, too much. Because there's so, so many little... Oh my goodness. I still have not... There we go. <laughs> make it easier on myself. Oop. I don't think so, slimy friend. Um, there are some other puzzles, like for example, that I haven't haven't solved yet. Listen, <laughs> like there's one in here. Uh, there are these kind of clues. This one I'm pretty sure I've got right. Alive without breath, cold as death, never thirsty, always drinking. That's got to be a fish, right? This one I'm less sure about. Gentle enough to soothe the skin, strong enough to break stone. Uh, there was a slimy pickaxe, so I thought maybe it's slime, but I don't know how that soothes the skin, I'm not sure. This one, what force and strength cannot get through, I with my teeth can do. I have to, I have to think that one over. I can fall from great heights and live, but submerged in water I die. I know I've heard that riddle somewhere before in my life, but I don't remember where or what the answer is. Oh, great skull. Maybe it's a skull that's got teeth. Hmm? There we go. Eh? No idea. No idea if that's true or not. But what other use does that have? It's just a material. It's probably used for crafting or something. I'm not sure. In any case, there's a riddle there. There's another puzzle up over here. I can find my way through here. Uh, no, it's over here find my way through this kind of mess. As you can see, there's just no end to the resources. Like, at the start, you can clear a whole little island of resources. But once you get to this point, there's, you just gotta get the ones you need as you need them. So, Ancient Galaxy. So this is some kind of puzzle that I haven't really played with yet, so I'm not sure exactly what to do, but I have noticed that if you hit these, they do kind of uh, light up these guys. There's only four of them. I don't know how... I think I can pull it over. So maybe I just need to... No, but there's too many. There's too many of these to light them all up. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'll play with that some more later. Um, but in any case, we're just about out of time. I think I will leave it at that for now. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Uh, 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 there we go. Sometimes it's hard to get around. There's just too much stuff. Too many resources. Um, I should eat. You're right. Thank you for the reminder. Uh, but you get the idea. There's magic. You can make scrolls here. Um, you can make all these things now. There's the mill, which I can plant seeds now. Oh, I need to uh, figure out how to make this stuff as well. Um... There's just so much. There's just so much going on in this game, and there's still so much to do, so far to go. Um, I still have... Oh, I can actually buy a new land again. Let's do... That can be one last thing. I guess this is the top of the map. <laughs> Let's grab this one. Ooh, we've got a skull. We've got another skull. Let's go take a peek, and then we will call it a video, because... Um, Going for for a while now. God, let me through. I don't want to have to mine right now. Well, you stop it. I know there are dungeons. Uh, if you look at the game's official sort of uh, trailer, you'll see that there's dungeons. Yeah, here's a, those like Zelda-style dungeons. So we'll come back to that. I'll come back to that later. I'm not going to do that now. Um, but yeah, there's just so much. There's just so much, and it's adorable, and it's fun, and it's addictive, and it's... It's great. And it's made by a developer who obviously, who very obviously really, really cares about the quality of the game and about the experience that the player has. I do have one, one thing that I would like that I have not seen any way to do would be a way to kind of put a floor down to stop things from growing in a certain area. Because even though you need tons of resources and you always need more, um, sometimes you'd like to have a little area where you know nothing's gonna grow, where you can put your, your, or, like, stuff isn't gonna grow on top of these things, but for example, it can grow right in front of them, or all around them. 
And I would prefer to be able to just put down some kind of flooring. Um, yeah, I can't put down bridges on the ground, so... Yeah, but aside, I think that's literally the only thing I could think of that I would change about this game. Other than that, it is beautiful, it is wonderful, it is adorable, it is fun, it is wholesome, and I highly recommend it. It gets a, it gets a strong recommendation from me. I'm just gonna borrow an egg from that chicken. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, yeah, there's there's always more to discover. Um, so, that's it, that's it. I, I've been going on for ages now. I need to shush. Thank you so much to everyone for watching. And, you know, as I always say, if this, for some reason, somehow this isn't your cup of tea, do not worry, I will be back soon with another new indie game. And you never know, that one really might just turn out to be your new favorite game of all time. So, um, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!